Oh. Hi, uh, it's um, Anya Devine here, um, and it's after midnight on uh, Friday night, but really Saturday morning. And uh, I didn't do any painting or anything today now, so I've done some kind of just stuff for myself, you know, drawing and um, writing and things like that. So uh, I suppose I have been doing creative stuff. Um, but then I emptied out the studio because Lily's having a sleepover tomorrow night. And so uh, she wants to use the studio. So we put up fairy lights in there and it's got nothing in it. Like I took everything out except for the table. She's going to put um, a TV on the table and they're going to watch a film tomorrow night. Um, so, but what I what I did was I had a, um, a lot of um, oil paint just sitting on the palette there. And I thought I'm going to use that now just I mean, I've put it, put it into into boxes, all the um, paints and everything, they're all in the living room. And I've got no um, tarps or linseed oil here or anything now, like, so I'm just gonna use the a brush for each color. I thought I've, I've got a brush for each color in order that I can just um, make some sort of pattern or something. And I was kind of inspired by this felted thing that I made a few years ago. It's very dark, you know, but it was um, something just with pattern that I kind of enjoy like uh, or that that feels colorful in the shapes that I like I don't know what I'm going to do really but excuse me this is my second attempt at a video actually because the first one I had a, the thing is attached to the table I was working on and the video was shaking an awful lot so there is a little bit of um, is something started here you see that I just started making yellowy Cadmium yellow and cadmium red is what's there now. Just move this over so I think you can see. That's okay, isn't it? Yeah. So here goes. Just gonna have a play about. Got my cup of tea. Okay. It's a nice colour, isn't it? That cup. I got it from Habitat. There it is. Unusual to have this angle, but I think you can see okay. All right, it's actually a bit crooked. Okay, so yeah, I'd started using the, the yellow. This is my yellow, you know. I think I've pretty much used up all the cadmium yellow, so but I felt like a good one to start with. And then put on the um, red around it then. So this paper now isn't primed for oil or anything. It's just cartridge paper. And it really is just to use up the paint and to um, have a play before heading into bed. I'll go for the blue next. Sometimes the, the shapes that are made can kind of inform the shape. The, uh, what happens next, you know, I'm just gonna gonna do whatever I feel like doing. It might be a bit ridiculous looking, but that's okay as well. So the snow is ultramarine blue and that there is like a mix of um there was a mix of those two, the yellow and the red. Kind of something quite nice about the glow around the yellow. So I don't think I'll disturb it there. But there's a lot of paint, so I'm gonna need to. I mean, there's quite a lot of blue paint there now, like, so I may as well use a lot of it. I could have a starry night sky like Van Gogh. No, I'm gonna start singing Starry Night now. It's a bit like Miranda, you know, Miranda. Who, um, she has a, a comedy. She has a comedy um, series on BBC. It's called Miranda. And when she um, <laughs> she just sometimes kind of spontaneously bursts into song when she feels nervous. So I thought of her there because I thought and she said I feel like I might sing Starry Night, <coughs> but I'm not going to. Don't worry, Starry. <laughs> No, no, seriously. 
Mm -hmm. I've heard a few, there's been um, talk of like Van Gogh exhibitions where you can, where you feel as though you're walking in the painting and things. Apparently it really very, um, has a, apparently it's very good, you know, that it, it, it's really effective. It makes you feel like you're walking through his fields of corn or whatever, wheat fields. And also there's a, there's a film, isn't there, Van Gogh film, where artists drew or painted every frame. I haven't seen that film. If you have, you could maybe let me know in the comments below on whether or not you'd recommend it. I'm sounding like a proper YouTuber now, getting you to comment. Mm -hmm. I think the um, direction of the brush stroke matters as well. There's someone having a party outside, it's like a group of teenagers or something. And there won't be a group, it'll probably be just a couple of neighbours, children. They're quite good to adhere to the old guidelines over here. If I had tarps now, like I could be spreading it out a bit more, a bit more quickly. I don't know how, how this will be to watch, like a bit probably fairly, fairly boring, I suppose, but you know, it's quite pleasing. <laughs> I might do little legs like I did for the, the fleece, the felted thing that I made, I mean. But with the blue now, it'd, it'd be tough enough to, um, Paint over the blue. What colour would I use? I was a bit silly now, I started using the yellow with a brush. Um, with a different brush. Um, green. There's quite a lot of green. Or there's the alizarin crimson. Let me see if that would work there. over the blue. I don't want to start using the felted thing as a template, really, because I want to be kind of surprised by whatever I do here. gonna keep going until I feel a, some sort of um, ideas coming. You've got a nice thing to start off just making marks, making filling in colours, doing whatever I want. I think that really suits me, doing whatever I want. I suppose that suits most people. <laughs> mm. 
I was saying in the earlier video, to be honest, I had a bit of a wallowy kind of a day in the morning anyway like I woke up and, and just started straight away thinking of all the jobs and paralyzing myself and then not doing any of them and um, so it was about three half three when maybe it was half four when I went to the reservoir for a swim and um, something in me kind of knows that's a good idea and it was a lovely sunny day and actually there was a quite a few paddle boarders on, in the reservoir today but um, also, I uh, just love it. I mean, it straight away I feel completely alive again, not, not a bit stuck. Um, just did a fairly swift swim. And then did a little, uh, uh, I did a bit of an art with the stones actually. <coughs> I gathered together, I made a hole, in, a heart shaped hole in the ground and filled it with different colored stones. Let's see if I can put it in the, Comments. I don't know if I can attach pictures, but that was a really nice thing to do as well. And then when I came home, I was um, full of the, well, maybe not quite full of the joys, but this is starting to look like a weird three-eyed kind of alien with a beard. <laughs> That's all I'm seeing at the moment, so I'm going to turn it some a different way. And then um, maybe start putting something else in, another colour. What about it? Some green, sap green. <coughs> I bet you're thinking, my God, how long is she going to be at this? Be here all night. I'm not sure about those circles either. They seem slightly disturbing. What if I get in there and just make a mess of them? I think this might end up like... Um, well, let's still post it for goodness sake. I was going to say it might end up a complete disaster. Like, just not a great video at all because it's just so. And um, well, do you know what? It's fine. I think it's quite good actually to to give permission to just do to do whatever. Whatever you feel like doing. I think I could draw into that. Yay! Oh, <laughs> It's quite satisfying doing that, actually. I might do the same thing here, will I? Right here. I'm not so keen on that red mouth shape thing. It's good. Nice, actually, drawing into the oil paint. So that was blue, an attempt at blue. It's a bit mixed in with other things. Mm-hmm. There we go. And now I'm gonna use the back of this. Maybe I'll do a spiral this time. And I could do another spiral here. I've got some tissue so I can wipe that off. I'm going to get trigger happy with this now. With this idea of drawing in with the back of the brush. this be like barely visible really I can maybe try and do circles in the red it's not really working now I'll just copy that in again
kind of like the little sticks but I don't I don't like the red being muddy looking so I'm gonna go over the red I kind of like those stitches things that look like stitches coming out reminds me a little bit of textiles you know those um textiles where you can embed a piece of glass or a stone or something just turn this round again the color I think if I use this over the yellow then I can draw back into it again I was considering using some of the alizarin of course I forgot to change the brush yeah, it doesn't matter I'm both red at least Sometimes I get involved in stuff like this, just totally playing like it's my first time really sharing it. But I could sometimes go for hours and just do this kind of doodling. One night I remember I just um, painted all night long, sitting at the kitchen table. I, couldn't, I was really inspired to just keep moving one thing after another, one colour after another. <coughs> to bits of collage and different things as well, of course. I think there's something in there that really loves being surprised. In me, I mean. In all of us, I reckon. left. Oh, I've got one. It's a small one too which is handy. And what colours have I got? Oh there's this. It's not exactly a lizard, I don't think. I think it might be quinacridine magenta, this one. There's only a tiny bit of it anyway. says like you know there's a little bit of ar an argument sometimes inside me like proper artists don't do this kind of thing and then I just f feel into it and feel how good it feels for me to have the freedom to do whatever just you know really and I think that must be good for us it must be good for us I think the artist way would say that it's fine to do whatever. I know that um, in one book that I was reading recently, the artist is called Flora Bowley and she encourages folk to make a right mess and then scrawl perfect across it. <laughs> Just to get rid of those inhibitions that we might have gathered as children. Something needing to happen. 
know what that's yellow. I don't yet know what. I think there needs to be some green in it. Although I liked the, the glow, it's just too it's it's too um much of a contrast, I think. quite a lot of, of um, green quite a lot of green paint so we can just let it fill a larger space there mm -hmm. having the restriction of it being thick has meant that I've discovered um, ways to draw into it which is kind of nice I'm sure in um, school you would have done that as children. You know that thing of painting. Um, do you know what it was first? Actually, it was crayons, and then a layer of black poster paint, and then scratching into it. So all different coloured crayons all over the page, and then I think there was something to do with fairy liquid as well, washing up liquid that you put that into the black or something, in order to make it easier to lift off. I might be mixing up my things or it might have been a couple of different a couple of different um, projects there I might be getting mixed up with. Anyway, it was good fun. There was lots of things like um rainbows and streets of houses with yellow windows. That kind of thing. Like a street scene at night and stuff. Mm. It's, it's gas, you know. It's quite fun, this. <laughs> quite good fun. There's a thing, too, in the direction that you pull the brush over the paint, it causes it to catch the light or not. Um, I'm going to smooth that, that out a bit so it's not so linear. Texture. This is alizarin crimson on this brush. I think Diego used to use a technique like this where he would work with the oil paint on a um, paper so that the oil was leached from the paint and it left it really quite dry. Maybe it was to loose the track as well. So there you go now, I'm in good company. I think he would have been doing things like the racehorses and stuff in that, that method with the, on the brown paper. So that now is the alizarin crimson. This brush is so hard it's acting more like a palette knife. Somebody didn't wash it properly. That's me, in case you think it's I'm blaming someone else at the workshop or something. Yeah, my friend washes her um, brushes in, I think, soap first. And then she puts conditioner on them, like hair conditioner. She reckons if it's good for her own hair, it'll be good for the hair in the brushes. I tried it one time, but I don't have very expensive brushes generally. Isn't colour a great thing? So my plan is, I don't know if I said it in this video or not, my plan now tomorrow morning is to go to the reservoir first thing. I have a friend who's going to meet me there, or come with me maybe, and we're going to have a swim. And I know that that's a very good idea for setting me up for the day. And if I'd gone a bit earlier today, I might have had a different kind of a day. 
But maybe sometimes we need to work through the kind of stuckness by sitting in it <laughs> and really just feeling the stuckness of it. I find it quite difficult to accept moods like that, you know. I just feel like I want to move beyond it and I'd be reaching for every sort of thing. Like I did three or four meditations and um, and actually they're really good. There's a Tara Brock, is, um, I, I like her meditations. She talks about the thing called rain. So when you're feeling something inside, that, that, to recognize, so the R of rain is to recognize the feeling. A is to allow. And like it's just about 10 minutes long. And then investigate is the third one. And investigate is involving finding where the feeling is in your body and bringing compassion to that place. Maybe even putting your hand on your belly if it's your belly that feels the tension or, you know, just to actually bring, yeah, so the, the end is nurture. And I suppose that's what that is, the nurturing at the end. I'm liking this deep red here. It's resonating with me somehow. I don't know if you can't see what I'm doing there at all, can you? <laughs> More of the same. But there's a nice quality to the red. I'll lift you up a little bit so you can maybe have a bit more of an overview of the whole thing. Yeah, and you can see the full play. Quite a rich colour, isn't it? I think they could do with being a different transition between them, um, between the um, crimson and the green. I don't know if red is it, but it's the cadmium red. Yeah, kind of makes me feel good to see that there. Maybe I could fill in something. I fill in that heart. It's a bit of like a weird shaped heart. Yeah, I think I prefer that shape to the heart. Wonky art. What about bringing some red to this one as well? I want to keep the yellow out the outline though. Kind of like the yellow brightness of it. I don't have any more yellow left in the palette now. Otherwise I was thinking I could have put some underneath another colour because I could like the drawing in and for the yellow surprise to be underneath. Something nice about playing with um, thickness as well, and having the thick red and the thin yellow outlining it. Now I'm also wanting to bring some brightness to these little circles here. It's good because the red is kind of sticky. It's not. It's not going everywhere. It's just landing quite thickly inside those little circles. So today, permission to play, and every day, as long as you look after yourself as well though. Sometimes play, like sometimes getting into that um, character, I wonder whether, you know, getting into the playful kind of thing, I wonder whether it means that our responsibility to the rest of our lives has diminished a bit. But generally what I find is that while, you know, there can be a certain amount of chaos on a day when you've dedicated your waking hours to playing about, I think in general it, it improves relationship and our interaction with other people when, at least I, I find that with the children when I've um, 
satisfied my own um, longing to play with colour and all that that um, just through my own self having that time to express my own stuff I seem to be easier to live with that's what I'm trying to say And I think, it, actually, I always underestimate the power of this kind of messing about. You know the kind of thing that you might do when you're doodling and the talking on the phone and doodling on <coughs> in the olden days, doodling on the phone book <coughs> without even really noticing that you're doing it. That's the kind of spirit of experiment I'm engaging just now, I reckon. without any pressure. My goodness, this is a long video, I'd say. What time is it? I can't see. Oh yeah, 31 minutes. I'm going to do another 10 minutes, but you can head off. Or you could um, speed it up. And you'll see what happens before I do. Hmm. here now. So my bedroom's going to be smelling of oil paint tonight. I was saying to Lily, I quite like having the, um, having the motivation to clear out the studio and when I put everything back in it'll be like filling the blank canvas again and I'll maybe discriminate a little bit because it, there is something lovely about a clutter-free space and I might end up not bringing so much of everything back in. In fact, the framed paintings I could just leave leaning against the wall in the living room. There's about ten, <coughs> 10 framed paintings that were taking up space in the studio. And there's no need for that. Like, I was actually thinking of having an exhibition of my own somewhere. Probably not in the studio because it's too small. But I've got so many framed paintings now that came back from various shows. You know, you don't sell everything every time, obviously. And it just seems, um, you know, it'd be lovely to pass on those paintings. The framed ones and not to have them just taking up space leaning against a wall. Like, and I was thinking for Christmas it'd be good to have a sale maybe. I'll maybe do a Facebook sale anyway. And then we'll see about um, a real life one. Because I don't want to take the pictures out of the frames, really. Mm, so we'll see. We'll see. And I suppose I could take that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Mm. It's a great old colour, isn't it, for bringing a bit of heat. That's the French ultramarine. Could use some blue here, maybe. I'll 
just in the transition there between red and green. colour I haven't used yet now that it is on the palette is um, Burnt Sienna. Isn't that a great name? Makes me think of like African plains. Back to the alizarin then. Just to get that transition a little bit softer. split this up into a few videos couldn't I? But what you could do is you could do that yourselves. <laughs> a bit late in the day to be saying that. Maybe I'll put that in the description because I kind of want to just keep going with this. It feels good. This isn't actually just cartridge paper it's a smooth kind of mixed media paper sketchbook I think. So it's feeling fairly robust here. Able to take the hammering of oil paint on it. I'm really just using the brush as a shovel to lay on the paint and I guess spread it out 